Next up, we have Bill Evans, who has a background in industrial design, and he has worked on a couple projects at Burning Man in the past, including the giant flamingo last year, uh, as well as having worked with the Flaming Lotus Girls. And this is his first year bringing his own art installation, so I'm excited to hear from Bill. Thanks. Thanks very much. Uh, I say. Where's my, oh, my first, one sec, where's my uh, clicker? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of love out back. So I'm, my name's Bill Evans, and my crew and I will be bringing this fire sculpture, decidedly analog object, by the way, uh, to, the, to, the, to the burn this year. And um, in a way, um, to paraphrase Harry, uh, to paraphrase Larry, um, I found something I wasn't looking for. And in many respects, I stand before you because of his vision. I'm a first time artist in, in the sense of building a physical object. And without the support of the Burning Man community, I would never have got my start. I would never have these other crews to join. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, a poster boy for that as well. And my introduction to uh, Burning Man was through volunteering just five years ago with the Crossroads Music Camp. Some of you may know this, it's a live music camp. And uh, I took to volunteering and I wasn't really looking to become a fire sculptor, but apparently I am now. Thank you, Larry. And the beginnings, the beginnings of it were, uh, were simple. Um, I am. Um, I got a, um, I'm a photographer, it's one of my passions, and um, I got this photo studio from a job lot of stuff I bought on Craigslist. And I thought, well, how hard can it be? I got a few tent poles and a sewing machine, and I sewed up this suit, which became known as the Twilight Suit, because um, it actually was very good at taking pictures at twilight. And what happened is the uh, flash took the foreground, and then the exposure took the sky, and it produced photos like this. So you get, you get the idea, it's a single exposure. And it got me thinking, well, wouldn't that be cool to light that with fire instead? And then, <laughs> wouldn't it be cooler still if burners could take the photograph themselves on their own camera without any need to have special synchronization or anything like this? So that's exactly what we're, what we're bringing to the sculpture. And it has to be bright enough at twilight to, um, to light both the foreground and the background so it doesn't fool the exposure on any camera that's used and so on. So this is exactly what we're bringing. And uh, it's, what happens is the burner goes to the inside, there's a foot pedal. Um, they ask their friends to pose or whatever, they hit that foot pedal and poof, they got four seconds of, uh, of light in front of them to play with. And um, it, we know it works because um, last year at the burn, um, the lower, lower left corner here, um, I hijacked a passing tricycle which had a poofer on the top of it. And that person very, very kindly <laughs> offered to help. Two, two people volunteered who were getting married uh, near, the, near the Flamingo. And um, I ended up sh demonstrating that with fire, just firelight, no electronics involved and no synchronization, I was able to expose the sky and the people in front. Now, we won't just be running at twilight. We'll be running well into the night. In fact, we'll be running from uh, at twilight to about 2 AM. What have I got myself into? I have no idea. <laughs> and. Uh, and um, uh, the fire, this is an example of a photograph, thanks to my absolutely awesome fire artist, Tom Need, um, who couldn't be here tonight, but um, this is a t photo taken with a regular smartphone camera, and it's with one of our poofers, and it demonstrates, it's un unedited, and it demonstrates how we can light the foreground and still get the sky behind and so on. So it, the poofers don't just look cool, they make it very easy to do that as well. And uh, to sort of round out here, I just want to explain a little bit about the name. Some of you will be familiar with the more common usage of uh, Camera Lucida, which was an early 18th century device for projecting the real world objects onto two dimensions. And of course, it became very significant in the, in, in the, art, uh, the art world about that time. The, 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 the painting style changed. And, uh, but on the, on the, on the right-hand side is perhaps a little uh, less known subject by an obscure French philosopher called Roland Barthes written in the 80s, and why I like it as a photographer is it's a book about photography that never once talks about any of the technology or techniques. Instead, it asks you to think about what's the point of the image you're taking and to focus your efforts around what that needs to be to convey that point. And so that's the reason for the names. And um, I'll, uh, my last point here, here's my crew up here. Um, and um, our call, my call to action really is to say that we're, We'll be out by the nine o'clock road, <laughs> hopefully, if we get the placement we asked for, looking into the sunset. Um, I ask you to bring yourself, uh, your lovers, uh, your props, your birthday suit, whatever it is you want to come on. Come out and take, take a picture in the best uh, warm, best placed, warm lit uh, fire on the, on the applier this year, and uh, take, be able to take home that memory with you as well. 
And so our call to action is um, we'd still like some specialist help around uh, electrical controls. Uh, we're looking for any fire art or fire safety trained people to help us, obviously, as along with the other, other fire sculptures. And also, I need some help with a web download gallery because we will have a selfie camera built in for people that want to switch that on. But otherwise, it's up to you entirely what you do with these images. And um, uh, the last thing is I really want to credit the people that helped me be able to stand in front of you today, apart from, obviously, the Larry Harvey and Burning Man. The Honoraria uh, program is fantastic. They've been so supportive. And also, I want to thank Flaming Lotus Girls, who I worked with a small amount last year. They took me under their wing. I did my fire safety training with them. I met Tom. I really appreciate the help they gave me. And then Josh Zubkoff, who uh, did the Flamingo last year, uh, because he demonstrated what it takes to bring a sculpture to the burn. And boy, what does it take? Thank you very much indeed.